Hello, Paul here. I just want to do a quick video about overwhelmedness. Yes, I just appropriated my own new word. I'm seeing a pattern while working with my clients and students. And to be honest, it is the life of 100% of my clients. This is a pretty typical story for almost all of them and they're all trying to create, publish, and promote online courses. And there are many reasons why someone would want to write an online course from hating their job to losing their job or business due to COVID-19. But without a doubt, overwhelmness is the common story for all of them. So the story goes something like this. I lost my job or I hate my job or I just have a calling to teach my honed in skills and I'm just stuck. I'm overwhelmed and I just don't know what to do. I've spent the last three to six months studying everything I can get my hands on. I've watched webinar after webinar and I've taken as many five and 30 day challenges as I can from Russell Bronson to Tony Robbins to Dean to watching ClickFunnels and Mastermind.com to Meg and her amazing Kajabi class. I've studied marketing, website design and how to build WordPress and for months I've crammed and I've crammed and I still don't have a product and I have no clue how to build a funnel or a WordPress website. I have no clue what SEO is or how to get started and keyword research is just a blur and God forbid I should have to actually put my course into an LMS system and set up autoresponder email. And this is where most of my clients are when I meet them and when I talk to them, they're so frantic and just worn out and they don't want anything to do with creating an online course. They talk very fast and they use a term from my teenage years. They say, I'm frizzle fried. So after months of cramming, their heads with this business and tech information, they still don't feel prepared to build and sell online products and they have already spent tens of thousands of dollars on courses and yet maybe just one more class will turn on the awe inspiring light bulb. Just one more class and that will be the one that puts it all together for, for them and most people just give up at this point and take the loss in all the courses they will never get to use and then they become the Debbie Downers and try to drag down anyone that comes in contact with them that has an aspirations to build an online course. Debbie Downers will be like, oh, that crap doesn't work. I have 10,000 receipts to prove it. And what is really happening is Debbie Downer wants to make sure to bring down her friends in case they might be successful. So as a trainer and a coach, this is where someone like me comes in. Hopefully, I can be the voice of reason that calms your mind and slows you down. See, if you take a deep breath and just stop, get off the hamster wheel and just breathe. See, the whole trick is not only to build a profitable course and launch it, but to come out of this thing sane and happy. So this is where the body, mind, and soul relief comes into play. If I can manage to get you to calm your mind, then you are usually surprised to learn and trust me when I say you don't have to know everything about everything to build a course. Yes, that's right. You don't have to know everything about everything. Like I told a new client just today, she's been studying Kajabi hard to prepare to post her course. And she says, I'm so overwhelmed. I just don't know. I just don't get it. None of this makes any sense. And I said, that's because you're doing things out of order and she was shocked. What do you mean out of order? I said, yes. Do you have a product to sell? She said, no, I don't. So let's say you spend a few more weeks learning about Kajabi and then you go spend two months building your course. Do you think you're really going to remember Kajabi since you did not use it for a practical use and all you did was theory? This is an aha moment for her and most of my students. So you need to calm your mind, get out of the fire hose feeding of webinar or webinar and give your mind and body and soul a break. I even told my prospective clients to take a whole week off. Don't even think about any of this stuff and make an appointment with me early the next week. I gave her permission to lighten up on herself 
And more important, she agreed to lighten up on herself and actually take a weekend off and do only fun things and relax all weekend. And I know with a little guidance and plan, I can get her making progress. So the first step is to calm your mind, give yourself permission to not know everything there is to know. To calm my mind, I go running since I'm a long distance runner. Maybe you ride your bike or you kickbox or you're just sitting by the lake in a hammock. The only way you're going to really calm your mind is to silence your mind and allow yourself to be quiet and not have to know everything. Meditation is an amazing thing. If you don't know how to meditate, I highly recommend you go take an online course and learn or go live in person once COVID allows for it. As for the body, just by calming your mind, your body will also start to relax. But having good exercise habits is very important and it does not have to be crazy like kickboxing or running a marathon. Walking for 30 minutes at a fast pace every day is awesome. Yoga is also amazing for this and it also gives you time to think. You would not believe all the ideas I come up with while out on a run or all the problems I have solved during runs. Many of my runs, I have stopped and recorded my ideas on my phone voice recorder so I don't forget them. It is a daily occurrence. And if your mind is calm and in control and your body is relaxed and exercised, you'll be able to be productive on developing your course. And as you learn to relax and have uber focus, your soul will soar with pride as those roadblocks fall and the parts of your course start to get finished. Which leads me to uber focus. If you have a plan and a framework of your course, it is very easy to knock it out in just a little chunk at a time. Don't get frantic and say, oh my God, I have eight modules and 30 lessons to make this and it will take forever. Well, if you let yourself get worked up again, it will never happen. Just make a plan, work the plan. Maybe one lesson per day and only work on it for five days a week. Give yourself the weekend to recharge. At that rate, it will take you six weeks, but you are chipping away, which is more than most of my clients have done in the six months before I met them just a little bit at a time and make forward progress every day and have a checklist in your plan so as you finish lessons, you check them off and you get that dopamine rush from checking each one off. So to summarize, calm your mind, give yourself permission to not know everything. Exercise your body and make sure you get lots of sleep and find time to relax. Make a plan and work the plan with uber focus. And that focus at this point should be on building your course and finishing a product that you can sell. Not all the other parts like websites and LMS and marketing and funnels and the rest. Just uber focus on your course outline and finishing all the parts of the puzzle and putting them together in a beautiful package that your students will love. Then we can move on to the publishing and the marketing. But for now, just uber focus on building the product itself. Click the button below this video and check out my course, Creating, Publishing, and Promoting Online Courses for Beginners and all of my offerings with this course. I know you will find it to be massively valuable to the creating of your online business. So click the button below Check it out, buy my course, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the inside. Cheers!